Okay, let's let's be Aradia. After I pop my elbow. Oh, it's not doing. Oh anything. God, that was sc <laughs> you're scaring me. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. We all have bones. It is pronounced Aradia. Confirmed. <laughs> the funny. Did you see what James posted? Maybe. That James well, James made sure everybody knew that Andrew Hussey says it's um Aradia, and that. James thinks it's fucking stupid, <laughs> and that's why he he's changed the rule. He's changed the game. I think I also say Aradia. I think I don't know. I feel like if you go back and we've talked about it, I probably say it. I fr I probably flip flop between the way I say it. J uh, James is Hispanic, right? I think. Mm -hmm. James Roach is Hispanic, right? Yes. Then I have to fucking side with him, obviously. Fuck Andrew. <laughs> have you ever almost broke a bone because it wouldn't pop and you didn't want to quit? Yes, I've done that with the, the top parts of my fingers a lot. Because they always what feel the like fuck? they. I'm an Aradia person, I'm sorry. Banned. See, I like Aradia better, too. Banned. I guess James Roach is going to come into my house and... He will, he'll kill you. Tell me, Yeah, he'll kill me. He's going to tell me Why exactly how he like feels Aradia? about my opinion. <laughs> it's not my fault might be because I'm white people but that just might be me <laughs> yeah I don't know I don't know who all is white people okay wait I'm what sorry. is Zeradia's voice I hurt my bones all I want god is watch this Skylar coming in hot Aradia is objectively correct Damn. The thing is, I don't like, well, I don't pop my bones very often unless it's my back, but all I have to do is waggle my fingers, and they make a shit ton of popping vo noises. You want to listen? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Can you hear it? A little bit. Wait, so what are you, you're just waving your hand back and forth? Yeah, I'm basically just stretching it. Like stretching the fingers and stuff, and they just keep on making noises. Are you a real person? <laughs> Are you? I might. I might have arthritis. <laughs> I don't know. You contracted it from working with the old folks. <laughs> the thing is, I usually can't pop my neck, and people have seen me do it on stream. I'll just like stretch my neck a little like that, but every once in a while, like some kind of horrible Russian roulette. Sometimes I will just stretch my neck gently and it will crack in every single place and it's really <laughs> horrifying. You'll just hear like, like all of a sudden and it's really ugly and scary. <laughs> and I try not to do that on stream, but sometimes it just happens. Oh, and then Sassy, so Sassy will crack his back on stream and it's like really satisfying to me as someone who likes bone cracking. Like he'll, he'll go like this and he'll like twist and then pull and you'll just hear like, it's very intense. Anyways, how does, oh, go. I like cracking my back, but I don't want to hear other people's backs crack. <laughs> I'm satisfied just... both ways. Aradia probably has the most normal voice, so not many changes are needed. I just say keep the voice kind of upbeat. That's right. She's very upbeat when she's not dead. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think your voice, like, as is, is Thank actually... You. you don't have to scream this time. It's okay, Andrea. <laughs> it's okay, Andrea. <laughs> What are you doing here? What are you doing on this awful planet? You walk. You walk, and you don't stop walking. You walk until the moons are high in the sky, and the lights from the city all but fade away. You walk until you can't think about anything but walking anymore. Then you zap. Zap, 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 zap. Who cares? You just want out of here. What's happening to you? What are these thoughts? What are these half-remembered truths? Why do all your new friends seem so fresh but so familiar? You are lost inside yourself for what simultaneously feels like both a moment and an eternity. We should have known we were going to get existential since it was Aradia. I know, Jane Roach is like very in tune with Aradia too. Anyways. So I'm excited. Is he an Aries? I'm not sure. I want to know now. I'm curious. As a fellow <laughs> Aries, I'm curious. <laughs> um, 
Um, you stop walking and lay down. The grass feels cool on the back of your head and your eyes. Oh, Gardner says I think so. Uh. You stop walking and lay down. Oh, and your eyes feel so heavy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> do you not think this face is as funny as I do? <laughs> it's really good. This is like the the, the face equivalent of T posing to me. <laughs> the perfectly straight line. Spam this you know face what? in chat. Spam this emote. I want to see a bunch of them. I Wait, gotcha. Go ahead. Oh, I'll type it too. I can't see. My light's not on. <laughs> Hi, Warwitch. Thank you for following earlier. I saw you. <laughs> you laughed. I didn't hear my call. <laughs> You're breathing now. I'm breathing now. Yay, thank How's you, this? chat. How's this? No, stop it. Read, read the thing. Troll Jesus Christ! Wait, did you put your mic more in front of your mouth? Put it back to where it was before. Where it was? Right yeah. here. Maybe? Right here? I think so, yeah. Troll! Otherwise it makes poppy sounds when you talk. Oh, fuck. I don't want that. We don't want that. I don't like that, Andrea. We don't like her. I don't like her! God! I don't like you here. <laughs> I don't like you here. <laughs> Inches away from your face, someone's a bent over you and staring unblinkingly into your eyes. In a single panicked motion, you do a faithful side a youthful <laughs> you do a youthful sideways roll and spring to your feet. Oh no, goddess has introduced the chaos of a woe. Ah oh, uh, <laughs> I should have known this would happen. Ooh. A woe. I can hear you typing, bastard. <laughs> why, <laughs> why do you type with the big mouth? <laughs> it looks like you have some big old teeth. That's Wait. my troll Sona. That's true. Real question. A woe did not exist until relatively recently. If a woe existed when Homestuck was being written, do you think Arati would have a woe instead of like whatever happy face she uses? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I love this song. It has that one song. I don't remember the name of the Homestuck song. <laughs> Except for Air of Grief in Black. This song- this- do you know what song this is? I don't know what this one's called. The only Homestuck song I know is Suburban Jungle. So. It might be a Suburban Jungle. This is, oh, wait, no, this this is, is not my Suburban this is Jungle. <laughs> Sorry, I can't recognize Megalovania until it gets to the main part. This doesn't seem to startle her at all. She doesn't move from her precariously balanced squat. She is just looking at you. Observing you. Is she waiting for you to do something? Oh yeah, sorry Gardner. I know it's a new song, I'm just saying. I couldn't tell a minute ago that it was the... What do you call it? The motif? from Megalovania, and then once it got into that one part, I was like, oh shit, wait. <laughs> but no, wait, isn't there... Isn't there another song in Homestuck that is not Megalovania that samples Megalovania in like a piano font? Oh, Probably. is it Cascade? Is it Cascade? It might be. I think it's Cascade. Because this, this tinkly little piano sounds more like Cascade than Megalovania, I think. I don't know, I'm basically tone deaf, <laughs> so y'all are gonna have to tell me. I'm the wrong person to ask. We're both the wrong people to ask, and unfortunately we're the hosts. <laughs> Do you think it might be the ADHD? It might be. I mean, Megalovania isn't homesick, that's me. I, um, I know that I'm bro! <laughs> 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 uh, what I'm saying is... <laughs> Fucking umbrella. I'm, what I'm really just hosts? vibe checked us a little bit. <laughs> Sir, your vibes are atrocious. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, um, a lot of songs sample the main motif of Megalovania in Homestuck. 
Like, almost every song, every big major song. James said it's Megalovania and Nuclear? Okay, maybe it's Nuclear. I was thinking of Cascade for some reason, but maybe that's wrong. Can I make a, um, prediction? Yeah. And I have not seen any spoilers for this route. Yeah. Um, I think we're in a dream bubble. Ooh! That'd be fun. Alright, let's do this. Let's, let's rage. Um, is she waiting for you to do something? Also, there are vocals in this song that I think are done by Total Spiffage. Because that's the only spoiler-adjacent thing I saw, is I followed James Roach on Twitter, and I saw him say, like, I love the music. Also, thanks, Total Spiffage, for the, the voices. Cascade is when Megalovania was introduced in the comic. Oh, maybe my brain is just putting all the songs together from Cascade. <laughs> it's very possible. Exactly. After exactly 21 seconds of staring directly at you, she offers an entirely too toothy smile. Part of you suspects she's just remembered that's what you do in these situations. <gasps> Kins <laughs> you, know <laughs> you know that meme that's going around right now of the scary little smiley face with all the teeth? Yeah. And the hand? Can someone edit a rat? <laughs> So it's like, I'm surprised it's, I had that's not all over my dash. <laughs> well, James Roach very politely asked people not to put spoilers, so I think people are restraining themselves. But please do exactly that. The scary teeth smile, but like with Arati's little symbol and some horns and the hair. Please. Thank you. She examines you with an obvious curiosity. I don't understand Arati's fucking typing quick, but whatever. Not the worst decision. To nap among the remains of the deceased. Haha. <laughs> what? With a sarcastic motion that suggests looking literally anywhere around you, she draws your attention to what appears to be some sort of dig site. You seem to have fallen asleep on a pile of bones. I love this face. It's cute. It is cute. Her shirt is in blazoned with a dark red Aries symbol. Oh cool, another Zodiac kid. You must have said Aries out loud because she immediately corrects you. <laughs> it is pronounced Aradia. That makes sense. Although you've just met, you cannot fathom her name being pronounced <laughs> any other way. <laughs> James said I will stomp you to death with my hooves. <laughs> <laughs> My Aries hooves. <laughs> Your new potential friend, er Radia, is looking That's a right, little- That's right, you better fucking <laughs> 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 What is a polite and charming way of saying rough around the edges? Her clothes are a bit shabby, but maybe that's just normal wear and tear when you've been hanging out in the dirt all day. What is she doing out here in the dirt anyway? I come out here to dig up bones. Oh, like, uh, archaeology? Oh, yes, that too. Bones are an important part of the life cycle. You often hear about the beauty of life, but I find that death is just as important and fascinating. The finality of death has a beauty to it. Or it used to. You want to ask what she means? but it must be written all over your face. She very quickly moves on. Remains can tell us a lot about their owner's life. How they lived, how they met their end. Is that not a little wonderful? Fossils represent a finality, a moment locked in time. It is the physical that remains while the spirit moves on. Everything that made them who they were is gone. When all is said and done, it's only the bones that survive to tell their tale. And in that way, death is a sort of perfection, don't you think? Their violent end is sort of peace. Nothing left but the bones. I know exactly what she means. I think about this shit all the time. Because you work in an old folks home, you fucking morbid ass. <laughs> it's true. It, re it really is like the least tra traumatic way to like face death monthly. Or you could just be Mexican. That's true. <laughs> Have, Logan, have you ever tried just being brown? <laughs> I... I <laughs> <laughs> There's not a right answer to that question. Let's move on. 
<laughs> You've never thought about it that way. In f- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, she suspects you may have never thought about anything as much as this girl has thought about bones. I was saying this as I was reading Aradia's last couple of lines. D- has Aradia ever given you like um, like Starfire vibes? Yeah. 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 Okay. I I, was, I don't know why. It's it, maybe it's the way she constructs sentences or something. It sounds like it reads kind of Starfire. Yeah, and also the enthusiasm. Especially right, yeah. Like the enthusiasm the about comments. weird shit is very Starfire and very Aradia. Yeah. We just love some voils. Oh, bones are just one of my many interests. Oh, yeah. Uh, you too. Big bone fan over here. <laughs> I hate that. I want a shirt that says it, though. <laughs> a big bone fan and an arrow pointing up to my face. <laughs> I see you are also a person of exquisite taste. Oh well. <laughs> well. Well, damn. Ho 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 to you too. Your stomach growls a bit. Just how long were you out here? I discovered your body several hours ago. I thought you might be dead, so I was watching you to confirm my suspicions. She was watching what she thought was a dead body for several hours? Yes. On the lookout for early signs of decomposition. Rot. Rigor mort. Fuck that word, it's hard to say. You, you don't pronounce it that way, yeah? It's ri- rigor mortis? Don't you say it? Rigor mortis? It's not like rigor mortis. Rigor mortis, rigor mortis etc. Unfortunately, you are not completely dead. Thank goodness for that. I guess. <laughs> Wait, what does she mean completely? There is a moment where her unbreaking, if not somewhat unsettling grin, leans more towards normal. Well, okay. Someone might describe it as normal if maybe you'd never seen anybody smile before. Rigor mortis. I know I know the mortis part. I feel like I've seen Wait, Skyler, you're also from Texas. Maybe you know. Don't people say it rigor mortis? <laughs> like, people say, like, R-I-G-G-A. <laughs> rigor mortis. Rig my mortis. Just read the thing. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, if you were passing someone in the hallway, and they described what a smile was to you, and you were like, No, no. I got this. Alas, you digress. You're like me. The dead speak to you. You would do well to pay attention. A mantle of doomed souls leashed to you. I wonder just how many times you've died. Died? Like, bereft of life? <laughs> Goddess, it's Ragamortis. <laughs> it's Reggae Mortis. <laughs> Reagan Mortis? <laughs> Reagan Mortis? Well, he is dead, right? Isn't he? <laughs> or am I wrong? He's entered into Reagan Mortis. <laughs> exactly. Stop. He's he's become <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Stop. He's become Reagan imagine... Mortis. Yeah, Reagan Mortis. I just Mortis. imagine somebody actually saying that while looking at his dead body. <laughs> <laughs> and and they kind of chuckle and then they realize no one else is left. <laughs> Rig and Morty, stop! Stop! <laughs> Rick and I'm Mortis. about to stop! I'm too... This is too far. Oh, maybe you're right, Skylar. I guess you wouldn't know. I don't know. I feel like that's how I've heard people here say it. Rig and Mortis. Rick and Mortis. Rick and Mortis? About to Rick your Mortis. <laughs> she sits down beside you. She picks up some sort of rib or femur or pelvis or whatever and begins to idly draw in the dirt. It is a crude drawing of some sort of misshapen stick person. Unrelatable. Too thickums to be a stick person. (laughs) Traditionally, yes, that is what dying means. But you are different. I can see the ghosts of all your alternate iterations floating around you. Trying to help you. Doomed timelines that have been purposely erased from your consciousness. But you're the culmination of the choices you've made, fatal or otherwise. You've been forced to leave so much behind you. Your memories! Despite the fact that she seems very focused on her dirt art, you suddenly feel so seen. 
someone doesn't want you to remember, but... She looks at you and leans in close. Do you want to know a secret? Wait, is she just like close? You are really not following. Sounds like kind of fake, if you're being honest. Ghosts? Yeah. Okay, you've seen some weird shit on this planet, but you draw the line at ghosts. The spooky bit was kind of charming and cool at first, but this is borderline ridiculous. Oh! She almost looks hurt. Her tone turns hollow. How disappointing. Come on with them inches! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Aradia rises and turns her back towards you. The night air feels cold, which it hadn't before now. Perhaps on behalf of the especially cold shoulder treatment you are getting right now. Little bumps form on your skin. Inches, Logan. Look at them. Anyways. Trust me, I've seen inches. <laughs> Shut up. I can't even- this could be a lot of different jokes you're saying. <laughs> I have misjudged you. I thought I could trust you, but maybe you're just like the rest. I'm okay with that. It does not bother me. She's fo floating several feet off the ground. Typically, this is your sign to not to say, hmm, sounds like it kind of does bother you. Boop boop. Boop boop. Give in to your need to feel like you know better than everyone or keep your mouth shut for once. I love the first one. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Sounds like it kind of does bother her. Sounds like she probably isn't okay. Okay with it. <laughs> Why did you sound like Ness <laughs> in Super Smash Bros? Okay. Rose. Okay. <laughs> okay. She is silent for what seems like several minutes. Have your words reached her? Oh. When she turns to you, her eyes are white, and her expression is blank. Her head tilts to the side, as if she is looking at a curious bauble, her face unchanging. Nothing really bothers me anymore. Oh, Jesus. No thanks. This secret sucks. Time to fucking go. Sorry you said ghosts were fake or whatever bullshit. Yes, maybe that would be best for both of us. I had some hope for you. It looks like that was misplaced. There is a hollow disappointment in her voice. You've never been nagged by a ghost before. She raises a hand to you, her form silhouetted by the two moons. There is a blissful moment where you feel suspended and still. Oh, what a cute drawing. Aradia. 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 Now every time oh. I have to uh, say uh, uh, it, I say it that way. Oh, hello? What the fuck? I. I. Here we this go. Is cool. This is cool. I mean, you notice that happened in Tavros's too, right? I'm Did gonna it? take that as a no. <laughs> um, when we got to Prospit and we were trying to slap him awake, there was a moment where I, I got partway through a sentence and then it like glitched out and it showed like a glitchy Tavros and then a different sentence popped up instead of the one that I had been reading. No, I do remember that. I that, wasn't that was like It was like two frames though. It was really fast. I thought you meant, like, the bad end with Friska. Or not no, really bad no. end, but okay. I just mean, like, glitchy, rewindy stuff. I think it's happened in yeah. other routes, too, probably, but I can't remember. Now things are get fucking. Now we are fucking. Now we are fucking. Alrighty said you better try it again. Now we are fucking. How much should I in stick a single again? Sorry, I'm, uh, most of it's the same, so I don't know... Should I just, like, speed read it up until we're at a point that we haven't seen before? I'm assuming it's yeah. gonna be just the decision, but, like, just in case, I'm gonna give it a little 
a little bit of, you know, a little bit of skimming. So, yeah, it wasn't like it sent us back back. It, no, like, it a did. different. I mean, no, no, but I mean, not like to a different time where we understand that we are back in time. That makes sense. Like, usually we get the end screen. Right. And then we have to manually restart the game. So when this first, like, rewinded, I thought that meant that we would remember the rewind. Maybe. Thank you, goddess. Thank you, goddess. Took me a hot second to realize <laughs> what happened. Thank you for the clip, goddess. To be specific. I mean, what do you think happened? Well, I think one, she's a time player. Right. So I think it was just kind of like a really cute kind of quirk to put in that we wouldn't be expecting that fits really well with her character. So that's what I think. Wait, did this say this before? Did it say this one right here? It might have. Do you see this? Wait. Oh! This is this one. Pick this one. You have never wanted anything more. Oh, because before this was only one option. It would only say the top option. Oh! I'm confused, Logan. Yes! Hang on. Oh, Where, this is so on, fun! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't want to make a bunch of saves. Yeah, this that was an so option before. Fun. Okay, I was sorry. I was thinking of the next one. I was like, I don't remember a lot of this. What happens if you don't pick it? <laughs> Aradia just fucking punches She's you. She just vibe checks us. And let's pick it. Let's pick it. You've never wanted anything more in your life. You have to admit, you are a little fascinated by this line of inquiry. You don your signature cool personificade and tell her that there's nothing in this godforsaken universe that will keep you from hearing that secret. You throw in that you are going to die if you do not find out immediately. Smooth as butter, baby. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. The way she speaks has shifted slightly. It sounds fuller, livelier. That's good. Right? God oh, tier! Right here. <laughs> that was so <laughs> You haven't been that excited for anything in the comic, including everything Jade said. <laughs> Look at this guy tier. Oh, it's so cute. I, like I love this some sprite hips. too. I like that they I'm gave us some hips. I love it. Fat Aradia is the only Aradia for me. Next question. Is her hair different too? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, her sprite is taller. For sure. It got bigger. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Because she grew up. She's not 13 no more. She... Slightly larger, Babby. Oh, everyone says it floofed up. Get your fucking hair cutting degree, Logan. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, I have been alive for some time uh, now. All according to plan. When she says the word time, her eyebrows lift a little, as if cueing you in on a joke she seems to think you are completely familiar with. You give it a polite chuckle. What a character! <laughs> Making us sound so old. <laughs> she beams, and there is a moment you forget that she was talking about those secrets. They can't find us here. We've made them very mad. Oh, you her open mouth smile was kind of scary. I like it! I like it, but it's a little scary. It has a very chaotic energy. They can't find us here? Them? Weave? Mad? Mad? Made? <laughs> you don't ask for a clarification on very. You're feeling pretty confident about that one. Oh fuck, what is that joke from? Or not this joke, but a similar one. Is it is it from the Muppets? Or something where you just say, um No, what is it from? Oh no, it's from SpongeBob! It's from SpongeBob. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think so. What is uh, it's it's I think someone is saying like SpongeBob went together with Sandy to somewhere and I think <laughs> Isn't it's Patrick. That Patrick? No, yeah. I yeah, someone says that and then Patrick is like SpongeBob? 
Sandy? Sandy? Together? With? I don't know what episode it's from or what he's saying, but it's something like that. God, that really hit me really hard in the brain. <laughs> Fucking punched you in the brain. <laughs> if anything even remotely resembles a Spongebob reference, I am all the way here. Brain goes into overdrive. Thank you, goddess. Thank you, Gang Goddess. Fucking finding the Easter eggs. This is not the first time. Uh, hang on. Have, let me take my glasses off to do it. But now I have to put them back on because otherwise I can't read the screen. <laughs> <laughs> we have met. Though it is hard to say how long has passed since then. Time passes differently out here. Hey, a props. A pop pose. I propose of nothing and far be it from you to comment on someone's appearance, but why does she look so much older? Why is she wearing the magic teen pajamas like John in them? How does she manage to do her makeup so well <laughs> and not just brush Sorry. her hair off at all? I read ahead. You bad. know, you know with curls... Did God say she... this? You know that with curls, the issue might actually be overbrushing. You don't want to brag, but you happen to have an encyclopedic <laughs> knowledge of hair care products. Has she considered switching to sulfate-free <laughs> shampoo? This just assigned goddess Aradi Akin. I want you to know, <laughs> like, <laughs> if y'all have been here and talked to goddess, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gosh, gosh you... <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Andrew... <laughs> it makes me laugh, so I read it. This is my friend! <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. God, you wish you had her hair. Wow, you ask a lot of questions, but I guess that's natural. Right now, we're outside of the canonical relevance. You are not gonna have to stop her right there. You have had enough of canon and relevancy and what it means and what it is and isn't. Do people never tire of sniffing your own farts about canonical impact? Wow, rude. Yeah, you're rude now. <laughs> I love this sprite. <laughs> Fuck the narrative. Absolutely phenomenal, and I could not agree more. Like, I was trying to explain, out here even the powers that be can't hear us. I must say, I'm a big fan of your work. I've seen quite a few Doom timelines before, but nothing like this. There's something they had no contingency plans for, and Paradox Space is practically falling apart at the seams. This timeline has been peppered with inconsistencies and clues. Things here and there that cannot exist yet. Events that occur too early. I figured you were doing it on purpose, so I thought I'd get your attention. But you're a little broken, aren't you? She looks disappointed as she says this. You don't know why she would want your attention, but she has it. It's not only your attention I want. The power is shifting, and the ones pulling the strings are distracted with their own meaningless problems. You really can't remember anything, can you? You tell her you remember some things that you can't explain. Names of things. Hints of the past. Whispers of ghosts. Wait, how does she know this? Yes, they have been whispering to you quite loudly. They're the fractured remnants of your departed selves. And they have been trying to help you get here at this exact moment. You ask where and when here is exactly. As you look around, the scenery seems to shift. Sometimes you're inside. Sometimes you're outside. Sometimes you are in all places at once. You swear you see some shadow of your friends here and there, but in places they don't really belong. Why would Rose be in Kanaya's hive? Do they know each other? You want to know what it is going on, and why it is so important that you are here. Wherever here is. I asked an old friend's ghost to tell an ancient space squid to burp up a place for us to meet. <gasps> Logan, do you have the largest, wrinkliest brain? I do. Oh my god. <gasps> the berry. Yes. As one does, sure. Think of it as. <gasps> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Stop! stop. No, no, I won't stop. 
up. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to screenshot this. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a second. Logan is not a prophet. Logan is a prophet! <laughs> declared. Okay. Declared. Think of it as a liminal space made of the same thing memories are made of. I have spent a lot of time in the furthest ring and in these bubbles and trying to figure out how they work. So I have some ideas, but I don't think the ones who conceive them even really know exactly. What matters is the specific path you took to get here. It took you many tries, but you made it. You get the feeling the more this is spelled out, the less sense it will make. Kinda kills the magic. <laughs> Oh, now a prophet. Gotcha, Skylar. Gotcha. Oh, Flora? Oh, oh, oh. Flora? <laughs> oh, Logan? <laughs> That's what I need to do for the risk of voice, but I I'll, I never do it. <laughs> you can only reach it when you're trying to... It can only be natural emotions. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is probably true of most things. Instead of explaining it to you, it was easier just to rewind things and have you try again. You're almost too embarrassed to ask how many times it took you to get it right. She puts her hand on your shoulder and just shakes her head. Oh. Oh no, we're stupid. The important thing is, you made it! I tried so many things to get you here. One time I pretended to be a ghost. She affects a spooky tone, a sort of waving her fingers around. Since accidentally entering the medium, your particular class and aspect combination have given you knowledge and foresight you shouldn't have. But here, where the connection to every version of yourself is strongest, we can do a little housekeeping. She reaches her hand out to yours. Oh fuck, is this it? You're finally making a friend and all it took was an infinite number of tries? You take her hand and she smiles at you. And then everything goes off the shits. Something flies into oh. you. Oh fuck! Was that a ghost? You can see them. Oh fuck! It has your face! There are so many of them. Ooh. The boys Somebody's are back trying in to town. kill me. I hear it! <laughs> no. I refuse. Can you swipe I down? refuse. I refuse. This probably work. And I refuse. Man, too bad we still have the friends. <laughs> one by one, they slam into you. The entirety of their lives and each of their deaths play out before you in real time. Aradia, fuck! That's I'm sorry, right. James. Rose. Start over. I'm sorry, Start James the fuck Rose. over. I'm, I'm I'm a representative Aradia. of James the Roach Inc. and I have to ask you to start over. Aradia clutches your hand and begins to laugh in a way that makes you start to think maybe this wasn't a great idea. What kind of laugh is that? Probably scary, <laughs> right? I don't know how to do a scary laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just uh, gradually uh, increasing. <laughs> Aradia probably scream. doesn't scream laugh. But... You remember. You remember all of them. As the last doomed version of yourself is absorbed into your body, you collapse out of the both physical and mental exhaustion. You are back in the dirt. Back in the bone pile. You just sort of turn over and lay there for a second. Oh Have my fun reading god. These names. Malik. Tizius. Oh dear! Oh, little diamond. Z um, okay, maybe not that guy. But this is still a gap. Why are you here? You look down at the hoodie Malik gave you. Didn't Karkat's friend say nobody has used this symbol for a long time? I am afraid I don't know exactly. My abilities have allowed me to tidy up your timelines that have happened in a sort of tentative canon. You roll your eyes. She ignores you and continues. So, whatever happened to you outside of the narrative is beyond my capacity as a guide of the deceased. But I know a way we can find out. It's why I brought you here, to give you back your memories. God, you miss just fucking around about hot dogs. You wonder what your- This makes sense because we actually played this one! <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder what your friends are up to now. 
You think maybe you should check on them. She looks at you in the eyes, and you stop rolling them for two seconds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? Ape shit, ape shit, ape shit. Yeah, ape shit. You can't stop me, Logan. I have the mouse now. Andrea controls the narrative. <laughs> you think about it for a little bit. You've been gone for so long. You can go back whenever you want, right? You gotta focus on the friends in the here and now. You know what? Yeah, let's trash this place. You stand up, or, oh, up and kick over a small pile of bones. No, my bones. Oh, oops, sorry. She kneels down next to the carnage and just stares for a little bit. Shit, she looks completely devastated. It is actually kind of hard to watch. You turn away. Aw, oh, biscuits. This is no way to canonize a friendship with a time god. What were you thinking? You were just too damn good at kicking over small piles of shit! Curse these powerful legs. Marvis wouldn't do something like this. That guy was cool as hell. Yeah. I agree. Aradia begins to laugh in a way someone less eager for friendship might describe as a cackle. Oh yeah, Scott, I realize I didn't say, but we'll just we'll have to use the fast forward thing. At what point does a regular laugh turn into a cackle? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was that? That was a cat. <laughs> I think feel like it has like a tone to it that's a little what? bit more forced. Force, okay. Mm, I don't know. To me, cackle is synonymous with witch. <laughs> then do it. Get well, it. Hang on, I have to watch a funny video. Probably, or else it won't happen. Brb. <laughs> Brb. Wait, I just have to think of it in my brain. What was that noise? What do you mean? I I fucking tapped my mic while I was itching my nose. Ah. Oh, it, went. it becomes a cackle when it has malicious it. intent behind it. Does it? My laugh is off. My regular laugh has been described as a cackle many times. Hang on. Hang on. Logan, help me. I, I don't know. I just know how to do one. Do it. <laughs> you sound like an evil anime protagonist. I mean antagonist. Yeah, I'm cackling. To me, a cackle has that shrill quality to it. They're like, ah! I feel like cackle can happen with anybody, though. Okay. So, me you wait, are me not see. immune to cackling. <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Look! She has arranged the bones into an outlandish, if not slightly vulgar, configuration. For once, I really am okay with this. I was just lying to you for comedic effect. It's okay, you can laugh. Try it with me, say ha. Ha. I'll say it again. Ha. There you go. I meant apeshit more in the larger sense. I don't think any of them care about bones. <laughs> They're lost. If you really want to see things fall apart, I can lead you to where you need to be. You don't know who they are, and you don't give a single solitary shit. Fuck this place. Fuck whoever took your memories. Let's go absolutely buck wild up in this place. In this piece. Fuck. <laughs> you kick up some dirt and don't even care. Aradia produces a series of abstractions from sh thin air. Some sort of giant Oweji board? Ouija. Ouija? Ouija. Ouija board. The lens spells out sickle, but an alternian, which you still don't understand why you can read, but you know what not the weirdest shit happening right now. Carcat's rambunctiously colored sickle appears midair. She hands it to you, and excitedly takes your other hand. Let's go!
Over the next few hours, you teleport around both Alternia and Earth, dropping a bunch of seemingly random objects in nonsense places, being careful not to be seen. You change a gift itinerary in John's dad's PDA. You sign the kids up for cell phone plans. Are you just doing chores? This is really feels more like running errands than breaking anything. Trust me. They are going to notice and... Oh, I bet they're going to be so esteemed. You personally guarantee nobody in their right mind will care about any of this. But the moment the words leave your mouth, something in the distance cracks. You don't see it. You don't hear it. You feel it. You zap to the next location, you steal Friska's lipstick, and there it is again. A crack! You almost can't believe it. This stupid plan is working. You guess the devil really is in the details. Next to you, Aradia, Aradia looks absolutely thrilled. Sorry, James Roach. <laughs> every, time, changes... every time you say it wrong, you have to apologize to James Roach. Subtle, Subtle changes in... Hogan. Oh, oh, fuck! I'm sorry, me. I shouldn't have banged on the table. That's my bad. Stop Hi, Talia. Me. I'm not doing crack. We're making crack. Get it right. <laughs> Subtle changes in the timeline can have big repercussions, but nothing like this. They usually just create a doomed offshoot, but this is a whole doomed reality. Don't you know what this means? You tell her that you totally do know what it means, but just in case she doesn't know, she should explain it for herself. If I you just keep up whatever bitch. it is you've been doing, this whole place is going to come down. Oh. Aradia lifts- I almost said it again. Aradia lifts an air conditioning unit and throws it into the stratosphere and with her mom- with her mom- <laughs> 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 Wow, that's fucked up. She sits on the edge of the roof, overlooking the city. Hi, Screech at me. Thank you. This was fun. A faint crack forms in the sky. The curtains of space and time pull back to reveal a nothingness that does not really make you feel as whole as you had hoped. But there still is a bit for you to do. You still have a few more friends to make. What? That's it? You put a crack in reality and then just go back to spending time with some teens? Hmm... Yeah. Aren't you also sort of a teen? You explain- No. I'm not. I'm not either. We are not teens. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Bro we are not teens! <laughs> you explain that it was never very clear, actually. Well, the answers you want are at the end of your path. The only way to find them is to get them to come to you. And they will. It will all make sense then. You wish that were true. You sit next to her. Your legs dangling over the edge of the molding. Before your eyes, the crack in the sky appears to be sewn shut. Almost as quickly as it appears. She was right. Something is happening. The two of you sit in each other's company for what feels like both a moment and an eternity. We are not teens. We Did you see the buildings in the yeah, back? Yeah, I saw I saw I was confused for a second because I was looking at another part of the screen, but kind of. In the peripherals. In the peripherals. Good end. You guess. Yes. Okay, we have uh, She's so big. You can see so big. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I mean, feel like there's a lot of things to pick. Keep your mouth shut for once. This is the first yeah. thing. You keep quiet. Now is not the time for your incredible insights. The restraint you have shown here will surely be rewarded. She turns to you, slowly. Dangling somewhat limply in the air. This act was for your benefit. But to proceed any further is pointless. Her eyes are white. 
Her face is unreadable. Oh my god, ghosts are real too. Alternia is fucked up. <laughs> Boo. Oh Jesus. No thanks. This secret sucks. Time to fucking go. Sorry you said ghosts were fake or whatever bullshit. Yes, maybe that would be best for both of us. This is the same. Yeah? Yes, this is all the same. Yeah. Then we get our spooky magic. Potentially. <gasps> Is it spooky, Logan? Spoopy poopy. Oh, yeah, here we go. I like watching your eyebrows just. <laughs> I know, it's really cool! <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't looking last time. Okay, so I did a save here, so I, what happens if you do this again, do you think? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. It's just gets more and more pissed off with you. Oh no, yeah, it's the same. Okay. Oh wait. So that's really interesting that this has only one end. So that's the only canon of this route. Yeah. Because Radius said you better not be a fucking idiot in my presence. I'm actually kind of interested in, like, this is whole reality so doomed. Ooh, finally all the shit we were, like, waiting for it to happen got kind of confirmed. But I feel like it also might be saved. If you do the ghost option three times, there's an easter egg? Okay, we'll do that after Ooh. we do this. Oh, look at the time! You were supposed to pick your punk rock alien daughter up at the mall, like, a hundred years ago or whatever. <laughs> oh my god, you're friends? You have to go back. You look at Arad Aradia. This is awkward. You actually have a prior engagement? Actually, this could work! You extend your hand in the universal come with me gesture. Come hither. Come hither. Come hither. Charlie. Charlie, you oh, my name is Charlie. <laughs> I always think about that randomly. Charlie! That hurts, Charlie! Oh my god. Charlie bit my. <laughs> You're so old. Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! No, you brought this on yourself. Charlie. You try to focus on anyone. The comforting chaos of Ardada's house. The burnt out mall where you promised Daria you'd take her with you. Yes, it's all coming back to you. You are so glad you have an encyclopedic knowledge of that whole adventure before continuing. You zapped the both of you onwards. There he is. <laughs> there it is. You're in the fucking hallway. There is that teeth posing turd. Aradia just wide eyed. No. No. <laughs> I need you to read this. Not this time. Eat my whole ass, you nobodies. <laughs> Eat my whole ass, you nobodies. This is how I feel all the time. I can kin to that. You <laughs> conjure the strongest memory you can. Oh my god. You sniffed Marvis's armpit. The shame you are feeling sends you reeling. This is it, you guess. You what? <laughs> I yelled so loud. But I made nothing echo. is here. <laughs> you float listlessly in the black void. Why isn't anything here? Where is everyone? You refocus. Maybe that was just a bad point to remember. You pull the strings of your hoodie tight, letting its warmth cover you like a dear friend's embrace. Surely you have spent enough time with Malik's jacket to have formed some sort of secret bond with the memory of him. This will be enough. It needs to be enough. You disappear and reappear in the same spot. You phase in and out, over and over, and nothing happens. Aradia watches you, but seems to be giving you space to process this. It isn't enough. It was never enough. They're gone. You go limp and just drift for a while. You hear the sad song of some sort of cosmic entity. Its low tones reverberate your entire body, filling you with a sorrow you didn't know you were capable of feeling. 
an impossibly long tendril appears from the void and slowly makes its way towards you. It gently wraps itself around you. You don't even bother to question it at this point. Wow. On a scale of 1 to 10, how shaken is your faith? Why aren't they here, Aradia? Where is everything? I don't know. But I'm here. Do you just want to vibe out with this space monster for a little while? I kind of do. Yeah. Okay. You guess. I do not know where your friends are or why there isn't anything here. And I am afraid you may not find these answers until you confront the puppet master. But... But? Isn't that fine? Friends and grudges, life and death, existence and nothingness? Isn't it all the same in the end? The only... Th if this is about bones, you're going to lose your mind. She smiles. Well, I can confidently say it wasn't not about bones. You can't help but laugh a little bit at that. <laughs> Do you want to try again? I know there is a different way this goes, but I still wanted to see what you would do. You won't remember anything, not even our friend here. You think about it for a little bit. The tentacle sort of paps you on the face. Is it trying to comfort you? Eventually you know that's what has to happen. She will wind you and tidy up the mess you've made by coming out here. There's a path you needed to follow. And you keep trying to cheat it. You ask her to let you sit here for a little bit longer. You don't want to forget just yet. Okay. Oh, look at us. Wah. Ooh, uh. Ooh, wah. Stop! No, I was waiting for you to do it. I know, I'm talking about the emoji. No, you said ooh -ah. Ooh-ah. Oh, ooh -woo. No. What? What am I doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Ooh-ah. <laughs> oh, yeah! Fucking <laughs> like amateur hour. Ooh-ah. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, what was it? We need to do this? Three times. The ghost choice was times, yeah. Oh, right. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, it's if you do it wrong, you do it three times. But then there was also the other one, right? Where we do this and then we fast forward? Or did we already do that one? We already did oh, that good. one. Sorry, my brain gone. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Problems. We got problems. This one? Fuck. <laughs> I can't remember. This one. Wait. Can we just do either one? Oh, Gardner, someone yeah. said that there's an Easter egg. You can just do either one. For this? Yeah. I guess? Okay. Oh! Fuck! I thought it was skipped to where <laughs> the wrong thing was. Okay, so I have to, like, manually click, I guess? Her. Wait. This one? Wait. Did she say this before? I can't remember. No, right? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, she didn't. No, yeah. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And then she just sends you back there? Oh. Okay. Welp. One more time? No, that, that's it. That's the Easter egg. Oh, you just get sent yeah. back to the start? She goes, oh, you gotta be kidding me, and then she sends you back here. Well, She's we'll like, fucking tired of fucking, you. Fucking, fucking, fucking Sick of your bullshit. Fucking shut up. Fuck, shut up! So we did everything, right? Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah? 